Hi guys, welcome to this video about Google Takeout or Google Backup or Google Download, which has been changed uh, in a couple uh, last couple of weeks or months. I haven't seen any notification or message about that announcement in the internet or something like that. I just went to the site and find out that it has been enhanced a little bit and I think it's worth to look into that because it has a really nice feature, uh, a new feature. So if you are not used to this thing, you can start with your Google account and then try to find this page or you just use my link. I'll put down this link into the description here so you can click right on that or you can write takeout.google.com but the problem is you don't get on this page you will get directly into the download area and so you may, may miss some of the things so when we start here here we have the data and personalization and it's always good to maybe also review things you have activity control you have a lot of things which you have things to create and do and so on and so on and you have to go a little bit down and almost at the bottom you will find um, the thing here download your data uh, make a copy of your data to use it with another account or service whatever happens and we can click on this thing and then we get actually to the page which rep which is the same as takeout.google.com if you if you write this takeout.google.com you get directly to this page so i'll put down the link as well to this site if you like more this thing and don't need the other page so what do we have here we have uh, at the beginning we have everything what is already scheduled for or uh, yeah to archive or to download and actually the thing the core download is a little bit more down which is now called create a new archive and everything is uh, already checked if you don't want everything you can deselect single uh, items which you don't want to select maybe because it's too large you have to be aware of that some things are really um, big I mean especially Google Drive uh, photos YouTube and other things may be too big or you even want to just select something that then you deselect everything and you pick just the thing what you want but anyway the thing what I wanted to show you is actually here on the top you can uh, schedule your archives okay so you can say uh, okay Google create an archive for me but not only now but uh, schedule it uh, for the next uh, 12 months for every two months so means six times so let's uh, get here again we deselect deselect everything and let's say we want just to archive or download everything which is from my blog then we go down all the way down and say next step and then we have the choice uh, I mean of course we can um, select the delivery if you're going to get the link to our email when the archive is finished I mean it can take uh, depending on the size it can take a couple of minutes or maybe even hours so it's always a good thing to select uh, to get the link uh, by email then of course here the export type either one time or we can say we want to get same thing I mean not same data but the, the, the export from the same uh, function every two months for a year which means of course six archives 
and then of course yeah you can choose how you want to get it with zip files and the size 50 gigabytes is the maximum size and then we create this i don't do that because i don't need it but uh yeah it will then create this archive and not only the one but it will create one right away and then it will schedule uh five creations of same type of backup i don't understand why they didn't do this open limit i mean or for longer one year is not so much but at least it's possible and that's a good reminder to save all your data that's the good thing because sometimes you may forget and if you have this uh, scheduled then you don't forget so of course you can cancel if you think you don't need these uh, archives anymore and then you can cancel what you have here so yeah it's it, it's pretty interesting i mean i wished it would have a little bit more options but at least it's a new features and a new feature and all is like new features of course um yeah I'm, I'm happy that they're working uh still on on such nice things um what i what what's a disadvantage definitely is the appearance of the selection because they ha now have this big header which is just waste of space and they have changed the format of these things so you have to scroll uh, over many 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 pages to find all your accounts within google i mean with the old format with the old appearance all the uh thing that they were just more or less single line and uh you have been able to select or deselect deselect maybe on two pages now it's almost 10 pages if you have everything here it's a little bit bad i hope maybe they they will get back uh at least an option to get the old format back because i mean it looks nicer but it's uh way more complicated um yeah that's it for now i hope i was able to show you some new interesting features if you have any questions or comments about that just leave anything in the feedback area i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time